Okay, y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Erica. I make videos all about handbags, lifestyle, beauty, and decor. So as you can see, I'm looking a little rough. You've seen me look better. I get it. However, this, this is an unboxing and we cannot be bothered with looks. We're only concerned with the package. And I just got notified that mine is at my doorstep. And rather than wait and maybe doll myself up a little bit more, I figured that wasn't priority. So let's go check the doorstep and let's get into this package. I am beyond excited. I have I have been after this bag, spoiler, for literally months. It is on my wish list if you caught that video. If you haven't, I'll link it down below. There she is. All right, guys, I've got the package with me right here. I will show it to you. I went and took the liberties of just cutting it open because nobody needs to see that mess on camera. Also, Carl, my dog, is with me for the unboxing. He's also quite curious. So, anywho, I think you can tell from the box it is a winter session bag. I am so excited. Uh, I Like I said, this was featured on my uh, 2022 bag wish list that as I'm making this video, it is in the process of going live in just a few hours. So by the time you see this, it will have been up for quite a while. So yes, I have wanted this bag for forever. I The second I laid eyes on it, I wanted it. And I decided to take the plunge and do it. This is my first unboxing of 2022 and my first purchased bag of 2022. So I'm really excited to start the year off with something that has been on my wish list for quite some time. And I'm just, I'm thrilled y'all. Okay, so let me go ahead and like start by opening it. So as you can see, I'm just gonna, gonna do this. Warning, potential Erica screams. I'm like so excited, my heart is beating I'm so excited okay all right so I can't really see anything other than that so we'll see let me just open this up okay we're just gonna throw the tissue there ah! oh my gosh I'm so excited okay so guys this is kind of what I see I like you'll see uh this is my receipt so we're gonna put that over there okay oh this is quality all right first and foremost it says, from all of us here at Winter Session, thank you. So I think this is so cool. I love when they do like little like leather bits like this. Life on Mars Goods, Jamie does a little thank you strip of leather too. I like to use those personally as bookmarks. This kind of looks like, sort of like a coaster, but I actually am in need of another bookmark because I'm in the middle of multiple books. So I will be using that as a bookmark. Thank you, Winter Session. That was such a nice touch. So let's get into the juice. The real reason we're here, this bag. Oh my God, and next, oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. This is the adjustable strap. Now I noticed that you can do a longer strap or you can do like just their normal strap. I went with the normal. I tend to carry my bags like more like very short shoulder bit, like I mean crossbody, but shorter for sure. So, and what I like is there's, wow. There are four D-rings on the bag total. So you can kind of place this strap on the D-rings like however you choose. So let me, let me see. Am I, okay, we're just gonna go. I think, I, I think that's a, that was a user error. Okay, so then we're just gonna cross it to the back D-ring like so. Get this on and let me get the box out of the way so we can really talk about the bag Okay So this is it guys. Let me open it up. This is actually the front. So it's got that little button snap like so Like and then you get right in. Oh it smells so good. Okay, so for those of you who do not know much about Winter Session, I was newly introduced to it last year. This is called the Garrison Carryall Bag. They come out in multiple colors. This is the canvas and leather mixture of the bag. I love the all leather Garrison and truth be told would absolutely love to have that in my collection. However, 
it runs a little bit outside of my price range so I might ask for like portions of like the bag amount for my birthday or for Christmas and then purchase it then but those bags sell out so quickly I'd have to wait for another batch so we'll see I do hope to add that to my collection however I did eye the canvas first I was between the yellow and the black ultimately though I feel like with how I am with my bags and the fact that I get crazy weird when they get stained I went with the black and I'm really happy I did it's a very very sharp bag this bag really does like carry it all I don't know specifically what the dimensions are I will list them somewhere on the screen so you guys know but I have heard and I do like notice that the canvas one does have more pockets so we have this outside pocket here this pocket here an entire back pocket here another back pocket here which i love and going into the bag we have two slip compartments on this side hold on let me see if i could get into it for you yeah now you kind of get a better idea there's slip compartments on that side and then there is a slip compartment on this side with the tag that reads, this bag is really kind of stiff, y'all, winter session. I'm actually really surprised at this canvas. I was wondering how it would be, but it is a really dirt, like durable canvas for sure. Now, I will say that something I'm a bit worried about with black canvas, especially a wax black canvas, is how it will work with dog hair. I am clearly a fur mom to two dogs, one being a husky, and they shed like mad. So I'm curious to see how this will work with dog hair. I can kind of see a few bits and bobs coming onto the bag. Um, I'm not a huge fan of having to lint roll my bags as well. So. I'll keep you posted in a later review, but needless to say, I'm extraordinarily excited about this bag. It exceeds my expectations in real life. It's absolutely stunning. I love, love, love the durability. Like, the handles are, like, stunning. The leather is just thick. It's beautiful. The canvas is just such a nice surprise. Like, it really does feel durable. And this bag really will carry it all for me. So I'm just... I'm thrilled to have it in my collection. It is one that is like long overdue for me. So I'm, I'm so excited and I cannot wait to do further reviews on this bag and also do a what's in my bag. I feel like this bag is very underrepresented on YouTube and I'm very, very pumped to represent it proudly and to kind of give you more details on this winter session garrison carry out bag. So I'm very happy you guys got to be here for the unboxing of it. Actually really quick, I look like crap, so I'm so sorry. Um, this is a little model test. I am 5'5 five five for reference. And then we'll take this and we'll go like this. I know a lot of people ask me to like model the bag for them, so figured I'd do that. Again, I'm just kind of worried about the dog hair. Not gonna lie. Hopefully it kind of sticks because of that waxed like material. So gonna keep you posted. Hello everybody and welcome back to part two of this video. I uh looking a little rough today. <laughs> I actually just woke up just a little while ago and I decided to come on and film this prior to taking it to the post office. I like to show you all the bags that I get that I keep but also return and admittedly this was not the part two I was expecting or anticipating. I have wanted this garrison bag for such a long time. This is a carryover of May of 2021 when I first laid eyes on this bag but I want to tell you exactly why I'm returning it and it's really no faults of the bag and I would encourage anybody who is thinking about this bag to definitely execute the purchase. It is a beautiful, amazing bag and it hurts my heart to have to return it, but I will tell you why. But first, I want to go over the pros and again, this con is just specific to me. So this bag, I'm going to button this closed. Okay. So this is the Garrison Carry It All in the black canvas and black leather duo. You can see that the leather is just absolutely beautiful. It's very thick. The handle strap was awesome. I loved this portion specifically for the shoulder. I wish more bag companies would do that. It was very, very comfortable to wear. There is an access of pockets both on either side and then the sides of the bag. And then within the bag, you have a large inner compartment here that has the tag by winter session and then on the opposite side you have two slip compartments and even a pen slip compartment making three total on the other side 
So for organization, five out of five stars, it was awesome. I do absolutely love the fact that, like I loved this combo. I loved the brass colored russets and things like that. I just think the bag really worked. I actually loved the look of it. What became the biggest issue in terms of the material for me was the wax, or the canvas is waxed and that wax is like a glue for dog hair. I am a fur mom, as some of you may know, I have a Siberian Husky and a German Shepherd mix and between the two, there are like tumbleweeds of hair all the time in my house no matter what I do I'm always dealing with it so this wax coated canvas just did not do me any favors and I think the black like definitely shows it so I'm gonna give this bag another good lint roll before putting it in the box and a lot of it is like well why can't you just lint roll it I lint roll the hell out of myself all the time for the dog hair that gets on me to have to lint roll my bag too and at the like rate I was having to lint roll it like I didn't even really take this bag out I actually never took it out it stayed in my house because I've been working from home and it's too cold to go anywhere but this bag did not accompany me on outside trips it just stayed inside and just the amount of like dog hair it collected was just beyond something I was willing to deal with and they were so kind in with the return process and asked me if I wanted a lighter color but the lighter color again leans into the stains that I can't handle on a bag so I am going to return this one and potentially wait out for the leather edition to come out because I do really love the size of this bag and the function of it I think it's fantastic so again please do not let this deter you in buying it this is just the like problem I experienced just for the fact that I live with extraordinarily hairy dog breeds but this is certainly not my last go with winter session so I just wanted to let you guys know that I did unbox this I did pack my stuff in it but ultimately just due to the waxy tacky like surface for now and they did say I will say they did say that it would wear off in time like that wax and I probably wouldn't have it as big of an issue but I think ultimately I like didn't want to have to wait like and consistently roll it to like make it so that it didn't look hair covered. So they did say that. I just wanted to let you all know that that was something that they did mention. But anywho, we're going to pack this beauty up sadly uh, and we're going to get her to the post office. But I hope you found this little unboxing helpful that you got kind of a close up of the garrison. And again, Please do not use this video to deter you from buying it. I really do love it. It's just not going to work for my fur mom lifestyle. So, anywho, y'all, I hope you have a great rest of your day, a fantastic rest of your week, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Thank you for coming to visit me. Bye, guys.